Question 3. A core sustains an angle of 72 degrees at the center of a cycle of radius 24.5 meter. Calculate the perimeter of the minor segment. Take pi to be equals to 22 over 7. We have this equation and we'll solve right away. We were given that a chord, so let me make a sketch. Let's make a little sketch so that it will be a bit uh, self-explanatory. So we have the center of the cycle. We have the radius. We have another radius. Now we will have a chord, the length of a chord. Okay. So let's call this point B. Let's call this point C. So let's call the center, let's call it O. Let's call the center O. Now our job here, okay, let's subdue what we have before we go on. Here we have 72 degrees, that is the angle. The radius 24.5 meter. We have another radius 24.5 meter. So we have this radius 24.5 meter. We have this radius 24.5 meter. Now, what we are asked to calculate, we are asked to calculate the perimeter of the minor segment. Now, there are actually two segments here. Our work is to find this perimeter, the perimeter of this from here to this point, all this, this boundary from here, here, like this return to this point don't forget that the perimeter of any shape is the boundary round that shape the boundary round that shape will give us the perimeter of that shape so for the minor segment this is a minor segment this is what we are asked to find this round this is a minor segment so what we are going to do we will start by looking for or to calculate the length of this chord the length of this chord this chord so length of chord BC length of chord BC so once we calculate this length then the next is to calculate this arc the length of this arc this is an arc so once we calculate the length of this chord we calculate the length of the arc and we are done then we go ahead and get the perimeter so you recall that the, the formula for length of a chord is equals to 2 R sine theta divided by 2. 2 R sine theta divided by 2. And in this equation, our theta is equal to 72 degrees. That is our theta. And our radius R, our radius R is equal to 24.5. 24.5. So 24.5 is our radius. So let's substitute that. So this will now be 2 times our radius, which is 24.5 times sine. Our theta is 72. 72 divided by 72 divided by 2 degrees. So when we are done with that, we have 2 now if we multiply this okay let me take care of this first so this is 2 times 24.5 times sine 72 divided by 2 is 36 so sine 32 36 degrees so that is 32 36 degrees rather now multiply the whole of this if you multiply the whole of this 2 times 24.5 times sine 36 you will have 28.8 so that is the length of this chord bc so we have gotten the length of the chord bc the next is to get the length of this arc length of this arc this arc from here down to this so we have gotten this so is to get this now length of this arc so length length of arc bc is equals to 
because still connected to B and C, so that's why we're using BC. Is equals to the formula is theta over 360 times 2 pi r times 2 pi r. That is why you are giving values of pi. Whether you're giving or not, we know that pi is constant. So you see that you use 22.22 22 over 7 or we use the 3.142. So theta, our theta is 72 divided by 36, 360 times 2. Our pi is 22, 22 over 7. Our radius times our radius our radius is 24.5 so by the time we deal with that when you multiply 72 times 2 times 22 times 24.5 you are going to have 77,616 divided by 360 times 7 360 times 7 is 2520 you're going to have that so that is to say this time this time this time this all of them are this over one this over one so 70 times 2 times 22 times 24.5 will give us 7616 then 360 times uh, 7 will give us uh, 2520 so when you take care of that you have this divided by this will give us 30.8 meter why are we leaving it in one decimal place if you go back to the equation you find out that the radius was given to you in one decimal place this is uh this was explained when you were looking at uh when you were studying approximation approximation in uh, I think SS2 or there about approximation so that whenever measurements are given in whatever decimal place if otherwise stated then you have to follow the decimal place or the significant figure of whatever you're given in the equation you are given to solve so in this case now our radius the only thing that is given here in decimal is the radius which is one decimal place so that's why we're using one decimal place you can also use maybe two decimal places, but uh, just to be more uh, to be precise and to reduce uh, the, the time we spend, we can use this one decimal place. But I've also stated the reason for that. Now we have the length of chord BC and we have the length of arc BC, which forms the boundary of this our major uh, minor segment. So perimeter. Perimeter, perimeter of the of the minor of the minor segment of minor segment is equals to the summation of the whole boundary that we have just calculated twenty eight. 28.8 meter plus 30.8 meter sum of that that is this plus this so when you sum up the two of them together you have 59.6 59.6 meter so that is the answer to this question, 59.6 meter.